Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, General Noah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. That's right, home of the first state capital and Christmas traditions. Hey, you know what? Today's Monday, December the 7th, 2020. Still, no birthdays today to shout about, but I do got my friends. That's right, the Shin Show like friends. Hey, there's Jamie O'Driscoll, Natalia Shepard, Martin Kelly, Gary R. Webb, Steve Clary, and Tina Clisholte Ashbrook. Uh, those are my shout outs. Yup, yup, yup. I also have Amanda Sue. Hey, she didn't. I gotta check something out real quick. Amanda Sue, are you there? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you do? Yes, she did. All right. For a minute there, I thought Amanda Sue hadn't poked me, and well, she's my pokey pal, and I poke her every now and again. So, anyway, I figured I'd just remember to check, put her in there, because well, you only you only get to you only get to, uh. Poke your friends when your friends poke you. Don't you know? Don't you know it's true? Don't you know? Don't you know? You are a shooting star. Don't you know? Don't you know? All right. Anyway, that being said, yeah, Amanda Sue, my pokey pal. Okay, okay. Um, that being said, let's head on over to the local weather forecast for the next five days for the St. Charles viewing area. That's right. For the rest of the remainder of the day, we're looking at partly cloudy skies with temperatures dropping down to around 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable east at about four miles per hour. And then tomorrow, Tuesday and December the 8th, from 49 degrees uh, with partly cloudy skies, so sunshine and clouds mixed together. Highs around 49 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 36 degrees for the overnight temperatures. Uh, the winds are going to be west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Few flow, uh, flew clouds. A few, few clouds coming in now and again. Alrighty, Wednesday, December the 9th. Mainly sunny skies. Highs around 62 degrees Fahrenheit with winds coming out of the west directly. 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then we're going to drip on down or dip on down to 33 degree Fahrenheit winds. Our temperatures, that is. Winds are going to be light and variable uh, north to northwest at 3 miles per hour. Cold, 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 33 degrees. That's how cold. Uh -huh. And then Thursday, December the 10th. Sunshine uh, and some clouds. Highs around 62 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southeast at 10 miles per hour. That's 5 to 10 miles per hour to you and me. And then partly cloudy skies during the evening will give way to cloudy skies overnight. Lows around 42 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south to southeast at 5 miles per hour. And let's see, we got two more to do. Friday, um, December the 11th. That's right, December the 11th. Um, overcast skies with rain showers at times. Highs around 58 degrees Fahrenheit and winds are going to be south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, uh, 60%. Overcast uh, with rain showers at times overnight. Lows around 40 degrees Fahrenheit and winds west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain overnight, 60%. And then, for our final day of our five-day forecast, Saturday, <laughs> December the 12th. That's right. A few showers early with overcast skies later on in the day. Highs around 46 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 30%. And then, uh, rain and snow showers in the evening. A snow shower or two late Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. Lows around 31 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, so it's probably not going to stick. And um, 
Da, 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 da. Winds are going to be west to northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of precipitation, snow that is, 30%. Accumulation, less than an inch. All right, my friends, that looks like it does it for our five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. That would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's one, two, three, four, five. Did I do the 12th? I'm pretty sure I did. That's where we're going to get our snow, right? Yeah, okay. That's five because it gives me ten now. and I'm not used to doing ten. I like five. Five is enough weather because by the time you listen to it again, it'll be gone. And you won't know what my weather in the St. Charles area is going to be like anymore anyway. All right. Hey, the kids, my grandkids, and uh, my daughter went down to uh, Main Street in St. Charles, said they had a blast. They also went for a ride with their Uncle Tom. That's right. Uncle Tom took them through uh, the light um, display out off of uh, Manchester, I think. McKinley. McKinley, I think. McAlby? McAlby or McKinley? Out there in St. Louis, the St. Louis lights uh, display. Anyway, they went out there and checked that out, and it was pretty good, I reckon. Anyway, what song do I want to sing today? I heard one earlier today that was, oh, getting on my nerves. There we go. I watched the Green Mile. Walking a mile, walking a mile, walking a green mile. All right, anyway, um, song lyrics, dancing cheek to cheek. Um, de -de 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 -de. it's called cheek to cheek. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak, and it seems to find the happiest I see when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Heaven, I'm in heaven. And the cares that hung around me through the week seem to vanish like a gambler's lucky streak when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I love to climb a mountain and reach the highest peak, but it doesn't thrill boot uh, me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I love to go out fishing in a river or a creek, but I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Come on and dance with me. I want my arms around you. That charms about you. You will carry me through to heaven. I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that it can hardly speak, and I seem to find the happiest I seek, when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek, when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek, uh, Fred Sarah, I think, yeah, yeah. Heaven, I'm in heaven. I tooling along in my Chevrolet. I went out just the other day. I was driving down the road and I thought I saw something on the side. Well, it wasn't alive. It was a possum. Oh, Lord, it be another possum done chuck the country. Well, they scooped it up and put it in a can for me. Now I'm eating canned possum, don't you see? Oh, they called it roadkill, but it sure does smell. Oh, road possum, that's for me. Oh, doodle doodle doo, doodle 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 dee. I'm gonna eat some road possum, too, for me. Roadkill possum, that's the way to go. You hunt them down with your tires in the snow. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wrote up a song just a minute ago. It just flew out my mouth. Don't you know? I sing them as I say them, and, I, and they go right along. I try to get them songs out so that they're gone. Out of my head, not a worm song it would be. It won't be stuck in me. Because I've got to let it out and go away. Away from me. 
All right, let's try this other song. Song lyrics, Dancing in the Rain. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-boom-boom. -boom. It clouded over on Monday morning, and I'd hoped to walk up to wake up the sunshine. Come Tuesday, I think I felt it, a little raindrop on that head of mine. Oh, on Wednesday, no mistaking, by Thursday, no escaping, and the storm horror had rolled on in. I thought about going back to bed or reading a book on my nightstand. I considered calling the weatherman just to ask when it might end. Oh, I did something you would not have thought. I grabbed my polka uh, dot umbrella and I, I opened up the door and I danced in the rain. I let my dreams know I hadn't forgotten them. Oh, let me hear you take uh, take a lead. And I told my hopes to get themselves up again. And I danced. I looked, yes, I danced in the rain. Dancing in the rain. What? I don't know where that song came from. I just phew. wasn't the song I was looking for. As far as I know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Wasn't the song I was looking for. I don't know about this younger generation. I don't know if they even know what they're doing. I hope they learn. I hope. I hope. I hope they do. Um, easy to pretend. It's easy to pretend. If you don't want to live free again, it's easy to pretend that all you got to do is not vote Republican. Oh. Alright, anyway, hey, uh, let's see. There is another song, and it's going to go uh, up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the song is in my head. It's driving me nuts. The melody I do dread. Well, let's just do uh, uh Ghost Riders, all right? Song lyrics: Ghost Riders in the Sky. An old cowboy went riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. And when all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw. A plowing through the ragged skies and up the cloudy draw. Their brands were still on fire, and their clothes were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny, and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the skies. For he saw the riders coming, and heard their mournful cry. If I, oh, if I, Ghost riders in the sky. Their faces gaunt, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaking wet. With riding hard to catch that herd, but he ain't caught them yet. Cause you've got to ride forever on that range up in the sky. On horses snorting fire as they ride, he on their cry. As the riders loped on by him, he heard one call his name. 
If you want to save your soul from hell or riding on this range, then cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. If I oh, if I ghost riders in the sky, ghost riders in the sky, ghost riders in the sky. Sorry, I had to do it. It just came up and popped in my head, and I said, that's a getting. I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it. Ghosts, ghosts and goblins, ghosts. Uh, the most is goats. How about that pump, huh? How about that pump? Song lyrics, Desert Pete. We're going to tell a little story about a man who was working his way across the country. And, well, this is a good oldie, but um, I love this kind of story. So here it was. I was traveling west of Buckskin on my way to a cattle run. Across a little cactus desert under a hot blistering sun. Well, I was thirsty down to my toenails and stopped to rest me on a stump. But I tell you, I just couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that water pump. Well, I took it to be a mirage at first. It'll fool a thirsty man. And then I saw a note stuck in a bacon powder can. This pump is old, the note began, but she'll work, so give her a try. I put a new sucking washer in her, and you might find the leather dry. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You've got to give up yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet, leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. Yeah, you'll have to prime that pump and work that handle like there's a fire. Under the rock, you'll find some water I left there in a bitter's jar. Now, there's just enough to prime it with, so don't you go drinking first. You'll, you just pour it in and pump like mad and buddy, you'll quench your thirst. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You've got to give up yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Feet. Well, I felt that, found that jar, and I tell you, nothing ever was prettier to my eye. I was mighty tempted to drink it, cause, well, that pump, she looked mighty dry. But no went on, have faith, my friend, there's water down below. You've got to give until you get, and, well, I'm one who ought to know. So I poured in that jar, and I started a pumping, and I heard a beautiful sound of water bubbling and splashing up out of that hole in the ground. Well, I took off my shoes, and I drunk my fill of that cool, refreshing treat. And I thank the Lord, and I thank that pump, and I thank old Desert Pete. You've got to prime the pump. You must have faith and believe. You've got to give up yourself before you're worthy to receive. Drink all the water you can hold. Wash your face, cool your feet. Leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. Drink all the water you can hold, wash your face, cool your feet, leave the bottle full for others. Thank you kindly, Desert Pete. That was the Kingston Trio. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let's try that. We're going to see what kind of Kingston Trio songs there are. Alley, alley, oxen free. Tom Dewey? Hey, how about that one? Song lyrics, Tom Dooley. Throughout history, there have been many songs written about the esteemed Eternal Triangle. This next one tells the story of Mr. Garrison, a beautiful woman, and 
a condemned man named Tom Dooley. When the sun rises tomorrow, Tom Dooley must hang. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. I met her on the mountain. There I took her life. Met her on the mountain. And stabbed her with my knife. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. In this time tomorrow, I reckon where I'll be. I hadn't been for Grayson. I'd been in Tennessee. Well, hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to cry. Poor boy, you're bound to die. I said, I hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. And this time, uh, tomorrow I reckon where I'll be. Down in some lonesome valley, hanging from a whole wild kite tree. And so hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to die. 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 All right, let's see. Um, oh, I didn't know they'd done that. Oh, no, that's Bobby Darren. We won't be doing Bobby. Yeah, we will. Why not? Song lyrics, Splish Splash. Well, Splish Splash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Well, the rub dub just relaxing in the tub, thinking everything was all right. Well, I stepped on the tub, and I put my feet on the floor. I wrapped a towel around me, and I opened the door, and then a splish splash. I jumped back in the bath. Ah, well, how was that? I know there was a party going on. There was a mm, splishing and a splashing. A reeling with the feeling, a moving and a grooving, rocking and a rolling, yeah, yeah, well, a bing bang, I saw the whole gang dancing on my living room floor. Well, the flip flop they was doing the hop, and all the teens that had a the dancing had the dancing, but yeah, uh, this there was a lollipop with Peggy Sue, and good golly, Miss Molly was even there too, but. I said, well, a splish splash, I forgot about my bath. I went to put my dancing shoes on, yeah, well, I was a rockin' and a rollin'. Well, a rollin' and a strollin', reelin' with the feelin', movin' in a groove, and splishin' and splashin', yeah. Well, yes, I was splishin' and splashin', I was rollin' and a strollin', yeah, I was a movin' and a groovin', we was a reelin' with the feelin'. We was rocking and rolling and a rolling and a strolling, moving in a groove and splish splash, yeah, splish splash. And a one time I was splishing and a splashing. Whoa, I was moving in a groove and yeah, I was splishing and a splashing. Splish splash. All right, there you go. <laughs> There's another one. Well, I tell you, I got one more, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do children's story okay rock and ro song lyrics rock and robin
pal. He rocks in the treetops all the day long. A hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. All the little birds on the Jaybird Street, they love to hear their robin going tweet, 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 a rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, I said a rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, a blow rockin' robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Well, every little swallow and every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old owl and the big black crow are flapping their wings, singing, go, daddy, go, saying, rock and robin, tweet, tweet, a rock and robin, tweet, tweet, I said, a whole black robin, a blow that robin beat, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Well, pretty little raven on the bird band stand told them how to do the bob, and it was grand. Uh, they started going steady, and uh, bless my soul, he out popped a buzzard and a Oreo. I said he rocks in the treetops all the day long, a hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street that love to hear the robin going tweet, 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 a rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, I said a rockin' robin. Tweet, tweet, a blow a rockin' robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Well, pretty little raven at the bird band stand told them how to do the bob and the one, and it was grand. They started going steady, and up blast my soul. He out popped a buzzard in a Oreo. I said he's a rockin' in the treetops all day long, hoppin' in a bopping and a sing his song. And all the little birdies on Jaybird Street, they love to hear the robin go tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. Tweedly dee dee, tweedly dee, tweedly dee dee dee, tweet tweet. Rock and Robin, oh, hey, rock and Robin, oh, rock and Robin, oh, hey, rock and Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Oh, yes, we're really gonna rock tonight. There you go. Okay, looks like it's time for the kids. Time for bed. Alright, kids, story time. It's not necessarily time for bed. It's just story time with the TV Grandpa. That's right. TV Grandpa is on the air. And we're going to start on um, 6. I think this is part 6 of the Snow Queen. They drove through the dark wood, but the carriage shone like a torch. And it dazzled the eyes of the robbers. So that they... Hey, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. We got to... I, I, I already done this one. I could have swore I already read this part. Uh, there's got to be more to this story than meets the eye because it did not end yesterday. Click here for part six. Okay, there we go. Now then, part six. Here we go. Suddenly they stopped before a little house, which looked very miserable. The roof reached to the ground, and the door was so low that the family were obliged to creep upon their stomachs when they went in or out. Nobody was at home except an old Lapland woman who was dressing fish by the light of an old oil lamp. And the reindeer told her the whole of Greta's history, but first of all his own, for that seemed to him to, of much greater importance. Greta was so chilled that she could not speak. Poor thing, said the Lap Lapland lady woman. You have far to run still. You have more than a hundred miles to go before you get to Finland. There the Snow Queen has her country house and barns blue and burns blue lights every evening. I will give you a few words for me, which I will write on a dried heber heberidane 
for paper I have none and this you can take with you to the Finland woman and she will be able to give you more information than I can when Greta had wandered warmed herself and had eaten and drank and the Lapland woman wrote a few words on a dried heberbidine begged Greta begged Greta to take care of them put her on the reindeer bound her feet and away sprang the animal Dadas Dadas was again heard in the air the most charming blue lights burned the whole night in the sky and at last they came to finland they knocked on the chimney of the finland woman for as the door she had none there was such a heat inside that the finland woman herself went about almost naked she was diminutive and dirty she immediately loosened little Greta's clothes, pulled her off of the thick gloves and boots, for otherwise the heat would have been too great. And after laying a piece of ice on the reindeer's head, read what was written on the fish skin. She read it three times. Then she then knew it by heart. So she put the fish into the cupboard, for it might very well be eaten, and she never threw anything away. Sounds familiar to me. Then the reindeer really related his own story first, and afterwards that of the little Greta. And the Finland woman winked her eyes, but said nothing. You are so clever, said the reindeer, you can... I know, twist all the winds of the world together in a knot, and if the seaman loosens one knot, then he has a good wind. If a second, then it blows pretty stiffly. If he undoes the third and fourth, then the, it rages, so that the forces of upturned are upturned. Will you give me the little maiden a potion that she may pass, possess the strength of twelve men and vanquish the Snow Queen? Well, the strength of twelve men, said the Finland woman. Much good that would be. Then she went to a cupboard and drew out a large skin, a large skin rolled up when she had unrolled it strange characters were to be seen written thereon and the finland woman read at such a rate that the precipitation trickled down her forehead but the reindeer begged so hard for little greta and greta looked so imploringly with tearful eyes that the finland woman said that she winked at the Finland woman that she winked and drew the reindeer aside into a corner where they whispered together and while the animal got some fresh ice put on his head tis true little Kay is at the snow queen's and finds everything there quite to his taste and he thinks it is very best place in the world but the reason of that is he has a splinter of glass in his eye and in his heart these must be gotten out first otherwise he will never go back to mankind and the snow queen will retain her power over him but can you give little greta something to take which will endure her with power over the whole I can give her no more power than what she already has. Don't you see how great it is? Don't you see how many, how men and animals are forced to serve her? How well she gets through the world barefooted? She must not hear of any power for, from us. That power lies in her heart because she is a sweet 
and innocent child. If she cannot get to the Snow Queen by herself and rid little Kay of the glass, we cannot help her. Two miles hence, the garden of the Snow Queen begins. Thirty, uh, thir thither your thither begins. Tether you may carry the, the little girl. Tether you may carry the little girl. Set her down by the large bush with red berries standing in the snow. Don't stay talking, but hastened back as fast as possible. And now the pendant woman placed little Greta on the reindeer's back, and off he ran with all his imaginable speed. Oh, I have not got my boots. I have not brought my gloves, cried little Greta. She remarked she was without them from the cutting frost. <laughs> Excuse me. She was without them from the cutting frost, but the reindeer dared not stand, stand still. On he ran till he came to the great bush with the red berries, and there he sat Grata down, kissed her mouth, while <laughs> large, sorry, <laughs> large bright tears followed from, flowed from the animal's eyes, and then back he went as fast as possible. There stood poor Greta, now without shoes or gloves, in the very middle of dreadful ice Finland. She ran on as fast as she could. There then came a whole regiment of snowflakes, but they did not fall from above, and they were quite bright and shining from the aurora borealis. The flakes ran along the ground, and the nearly and the nearer they came, the larger they grew. Greta well remembered how large the strange and strange the snowflakes appeared when she once saw them through a magnifying glass, but now they were large and terrific in another manner. They were all alive. They were the outposts of the Snow Queen. They had the most wondrous shapes. Some looked like large, ugly porcupines. Others, like snake, snakes, knotted together with their heads sticking out. And others, again, like small, fat bears with their hair standing on end. All were of dazzling wit whiteness. All were living snowflakes. Little Greta repeated the Lord's Prayer. The cold was so intense that she could see her own breath, which came like smoke out of her mouth. It grew thicker and thicker and took the form of little angels that grew more and more when they touched the earth. All her helms, all her helms on their heads and lances and shields in their hands. They increased in number, and when Greta had finished the Lord's Prayer, she was surrounded by a whole legion, and they thirst at the horrid snowflakes with their spears, so that they flew into a thousand pieces, and little Greta walked on bravely and secure security and insecurity the angels patted her hands and feet and then she felt the cold less and went on quickly toward the place of the snow palace of the snow queen but now we shall see how Kay for feared he never thought of Greta and least of all that she was standing before the palace. Okay, and that's today's portion. Tomorrow we'll be on part seven. Uh, in the next
next one will be part seven tomorrow. Okie dokie. Alright, looks like it's about time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. Today's devotion in Our Daily Bread is called Prayer of the Broken Down. Prayer of the Broken Down. That's right. Today's Daily Bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be read. Mm. To be read so it can be completed within one year. Today's readings in the Bible with Frisco 2020 are Daniel 5 through 7 and 2 John. Okie dokie. Hey, don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Frisco 2020. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Prayer of the Broken Down. And we're going to be reading Psalm 109, 21 through 27. Psalm 20. 109, 21 through 27. But you, Sovereign Lord, help me for your name's sake. Out of the goodness of your love, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I fade away like an evening shadow. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees give way from fasting. My body is thin and gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my ancestors. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, Lord, my God. Save me according to you, your unfailing love. Let them know that it is your hand and that you, Lord, have done it. And there you have it. That was Psalm 109, 21 through 27. And that uh, concludes the daily bread portion of the program for the day, which was brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. The Bible with Briscoe 2020 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Do not forget to tune into The Bible with Briscoe so that you can get your daily scripture readings. Alrighty, my friends. Hey, that looks like it does it for me. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Hey, I got one more song for you, though, before we go. And that would be, oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's uh, time to go. Oh, I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This here is Vincent and Bill Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Hey, you know what? I already said that, didn't I? But it looks like this. You know, God loves you and so do I. So come back tomorrow and see me again because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too. <laughs>